everybody, it's Blue Ducky, and I am so excited. I have new Monster High Freak to Chic dolls. And right off the bat, I'm going to tell you exactly where I got them. And that was Amazon.com. So if you are looking for them and you want to buy them now instead of finding them in the stores, go check out Amazon.com. I don't know if they're still in stock. So um, that's the only thing I don't know. They were, obviously, when I got them. So, uh, to any new viewers who might have stumbled across my channel, please remember to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date on my toy videos. So, I have Toralei, Honey Swamp, and Gina Fire Long of the Freak Do Chic line. I'm going to open up and review them all in this video. So, we're going to see three different reviews. So, let's get started. And I'm going to start with Gina Fire. Just take a look at the front of her box. Her artwork looks awesome. I was most excited to get Gina Fire. She's the one I was most looking forward to out of the three. Because she just is amazing. Here's a look at the back. I am loving the really close-up big artwork on top of her. And the bottom. So she's like a fire breather in the circus. And it tells you a little uh, paragraph about the Freak Du Chic. And real quick, I just wanted to show you the background of the box that Gina Fire came in. Because um, it seems like each one has a special background based on what their act is in the circus. And with Gina Fire, she breathes fire. So it looks like she's going to be jumping through a ring of fire. Okay, so I got Gina Fire out of her package. And she comes with this really cool poster. I have to give a shout out to Listy Loves because they wrote on my The Scare Grounds, the Freak to Chic playset review. They were like, wouldn't it be cool if each of the other dolls came with the little cardboard poster? So then this that comes with the playset is like this little cardboard. So you can just slide this out. And then when you're playing with Gina Fire, like in the circus, they have different circus acts. So when if it, whenever it's Gina Fire's time to like go up on stage, you can change out the poster. So they totally called it. And I thought it would have been a cool idea, but I wasn't sure yet because I didn't have the other dolls to know. But they do. And I'm so glad that they do. This one is a little, like, weird and warped, but, um, yeah. Look! So now, for, like, each of the acts, if you're, like, playing and you're, you know, playing circus, you have different acts in the circus, and now they all can have their own posters for when they get on stage. And Gina Fire also comes with this really cool green fan that's on fire on the top with her green flames. And also, since she is the flamethrower, she has this plastic green flame shooting out from her lips. This is removable. I just wanted to show it to you guys up close because I'm going to take it out and take a look at her face without it. Gina's, Gina Fire's face. She has really cool circusy makeup. Like exaggerated lashes and markings on her face. And of course, since the fire does actually go into her mouth, there's going to be a hole there when you take it out. Here's her headpiece, which is hot pink and it looks like flames. Her hair, she has these bangs and she has pink and black streaks added to her green hair. And it's like half up. And then the rest is long and flowing, and the rest is green. The only the only the only part that has the pink and black are the top part. And going down into her outfit, she has this necklace and collar piece that is the same hot pink as her head dress, and it's flames. And then going down into her dress, you can see the different colors. It's black some gray, red, and green with a little bit of white and has a very circus pattern with the checkerboard and uh, the jagged edges on the bottom of her skirt. Very whimsical. 
uneven, different patterns, stripes, you know, stuff that you would expect to see in the circus. She has her tail. It looks the same, but I love these shoes. They're so cool. They're hot pink, and as you can see on the heels of them, they're the same kind of pattern as her fan. And then you can see the eye, it looks like a dragon. And the little nostrils in the front. So, so cool. I love dragons. If you've never seen any of my videos, um, I have like a big dragon pop collection. Um, yeah, but dragons are like one of my favorite mythical creatures. Uh, second only, like, I don't know. Unicorns, mermaids, and dragons kind of all tie. <laughs> so we'll take a look at Torlai in her freak de chic form. You take a look at the front. Her artwork is so cute. I always love Monster High artwork. I think they do such a good job capturing the personalities of the characters while making them extremely adorable in whatever outfit they're wearing. Here's a look at the back. And she's gonna be a scared devil without fear. So she's like the tight tight rope walker, as you can see. In the bottom corner, it shows her tight rope walking. Here's Torlai's boxes background. And since she's a high wire walker, um, that's what her background looks like. And like Gina Fire, Torlai has her own unique poster, which is like the box art, but it's in a little cardboard box that you can put on your poster stand. Okay, here's a up close look at Torlai's face. To check out her makeup, the top half is pink and the bottom half is purple. And like everyone else, has all those extra little dots added to make it circusy and fun. And then she has hot pink lipstick. Look at her hair piece, which looks like feathers. And then you can also see a little parasol that matches the one she comes with. Here's a look at her little uh, parasol umbrella that helps her keep balance while she is walking the tightrope. It looks pretty cool. I love the added cat ears. And then finally for her hair, which Torlai usually has short hair, but not for freak de chic Torlai. She has long, luscious locks with a purple and black stripe added and a bit of a wave. I love the color of her hair, that red. Kind of reminds me of my own when it's freshly did at the, the hair salon, you know. Anyway, I really like her with long hair. I have to agree with um, Mommy from Mommy and Gracie show. Uh, she liked her with long hair, and so do I. Let's look at her outfit, which is purple, orange, red, black, and white. And uh, the sleeves, I really like the black and white sleeves that are kind of like jagged there. And she has a striped black and white belt. And then on her skirt is lots of different patterns and colors and a little bit crazy looking, but cool anyway. I especially like the black and white striped underskirt part, but it has like this cool jagged edge. Um, the top kind of reminds me of her parasol in like the cutouts kind of looks like that with the skirt, the shape and everything. It's pretty cool. Finally, here's a look at her shoes, which um, are kind of a purpley fuchsia color. And they have cats on the front of them. This is cool. And then the back, the heel, it has like a little roller ball. So she'd be skating around a little bit. Very dangerous for someone walking the tight rope. And then lastly, we have Honey Swamp. Oh, she looks so cool. I can't wait to open her. And the Freak Day Chic line. I love her artwork. And here's a look at the back. Oh, the, her makeup looks so cool. And so she's supposed to be like a marionette, no strings attached in the circus. You can see the artwork there. It tells them, tells you what, what her show in the circus is going to be. 
look at Honey Swamp's background, which looks like a marionette on puppet stage. Even has a little clown puppet there. And here's a look at Honey Swamp's poster in the little frame for the stage. Honey Swamp comes with the cutest little purse. It's a balloon dog animal. Or, no, not a dog. Derp. It's an alligator because she's Honey Swamp. <laughs> I was like, what's this? Oh, it's a tail. Yeah, it's a balloon alligator, which makes it even more cute. And you can see the little slit eye right here. Right here. The little eye. And oh, it looks so cute. So I was about to put Honey Swamp on her doll stand, which she comes with the doll stand. I'm going to put it on her. Uh, her on it in a second, but I just wanted to show you um, something a little cool. Uh, you know how she's supposed to be a marionette? You can kind of hang her from the stage up there, and she's too tall for it, so her feet do like slide off the stage, but it's still kind of like a cool effect. And one last thing I wanted to show you guys and make you aware of just in case you get honey swamp and you're like uh what the heck is this doll's legs broken or something because she's a marionette and they have it where she's like supposed to be a puppet um her knee joints are very loose and so they swing all by themselves because she's supposed to be a puppet and you know like that's how puppets are. Okay, I'll show you the strings that she has on her, which are like ribbons that attach to each wrist. And then on the top, you have one of those marionette tool controller things. And you know, see, it's attached like this. And you can, I'm sure, take the ribbons off if you just pop the hands off. And you can take the ribbons off um, this contraption really easily yep just like that and on the other side as well just like so even though it has that one thing it still can come off quite easily so then she can have just strings from her wrists and be like taking a book from Pinocchio and Ultron. I have no strings on me. And here you can check out Honey Swamp's face up close. On her eye makeup, the top is a purple and the bottom is a lighter purple. And then her lips, I really like her lips. Um, it has the pink and then the slighter dark teal color mixed. And it looks really and cool. we have her hair, which I love feeling her tight ringlets it's so fun to like just dig your fingers into and as you can see it's mostly lavender color uh, though with a few a little bit of the teal color mixed in on the side here it kind of reminds me of the Rochelle's hairstyle except she has much tighter curls and she has this adorable pink necklace that looks like balloon animals tied together and then looking at her dress, she has a halter style top to her dress with the fringe of black and white fabric. And then her dress is adorable. I like it. It's purple and teal and pink and black and white with lots and lots of stripes and jaggedy edges. I like this top part that is black and white and all cool. And then the underskirt underneath check that out so many different patterns it's a lot of fun I almost feel like honey swamp might be my favorite out of the three she might have uh, up a, taken the place of G Gina fire look at her boots which um, the bottoms look like balloon like balloon animal heels and then the their you know knee high boots with the lace and it kind of has an alligator face on the tips of her boots on her toes which is really cool as hey well guys here's all three of them all together once again oh uh, they're so cool i like all three of them 
If I have to choose a favorite out of these three, because I think I like Rochelle a little more than these ones, just like her color scheme and everything. But out of these three, my favorite... Uh, before I actually did the review, I would totally say Gina Fire. But I think Honey's my favorite. I just like her colors, the lavender and the pink and the purple together. Gina Fire, the, um, she's really gorgeous. I love her, but the red and the green together sort of remind me of Christmas just a little bit. Just the colors, like that shade of green with that shade of red, reads a little Christmassy. So my favorite's going to be Honey Swamp out of these three, but they're all gorgeous and they go so well with the playset. I have them sitting on the stage right now. And if you haven't checked out my, uh, the Freak Du Chic playset review that has the Rochelle Goyle, make sure to go check that out and leave a comment down below telling me what you think of these three Freak Du Chic Monster High beauties. And if you see a subscribe button anywhere on your screen, once again, hit that subscribe button to stay up to date on all my videos. And also, if you like Monster High and you like Freak Du Chic, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And you can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And I'll see you guys later. Bye!